Hello everybody, this two minute book review is on Penelope Lively's glorious Booker Prize winning novel Moon Tiger and I'm wearing my glasses for this one because I actually want to quote from you parts from this book because it's absolutely beautiful. This book follows Claudia Hampton, a beautiful famous writer who lies dying in bed and as she is tended to the nurses around her, her odd fragmented broken bits of conversation to the nurses seem like just the confused ramblings of a dying woman but Claudia is actually reminiscing on an extraordinary life one that saw her as a famous writer and esteemed war correspondent who was reporting from the fight against Rommel in the desert from her base in Cairo and it talks not only about this extraordinary experience of a huge global event but actually the personal interpersonal relationship she had whether that be her difficult relationship with her daughter who she wasn't particularly interested in her incestuous relationship with her brother but more importantly the passionate affair she has with a captain as she's based out in Cairo. I'm writing a history of the world is how Penelope starts this novel in Claudia's words and even though it's a small book and it's a book really about one woman's life in during the war what's extraordinary is that this is actually a book of the world because what Penelope is exploring is that our our history isn't necessarily what's passed down to us by writers of who wins the war but actually it's the millions and millions of lives that are just forgotten about as soon as we die how our experiences and how we interact with the world are ours and ours alone and how they are memories that we take with us that no one else can ever forget or ever know and so i wanted to talk about a couple of the quotes from because her writing just moved me to the core and just picking up on that theme on how history is just a collection of voices that will never be heard. This is Claudia Hampton. When I look at those years, I look at them alone. What happened there happens now only inside my head. No one else sees the landscape, hears the same sounds, knows the sequence of events. There is another voice, but it is one only that I hear. Mine, ours, is the only evidence. This is a beautiful book, beautiful book, entirely recommended.